Hi, you guys. I'm getting back on my health kick, so I asked my mom to come over and help show me how to cook some of the most healthy food in the world. Korean food! And also, I'm gonna show you guys some healthy ingredients that I put into my smoothies that help and make it easier for me to get my nutrients in and that help me be more efficient in juicing. So I hope you guys enjoy! And I know my hair is looking really crazy and dry, but I'm gonna take some of that aloe and make a hair mask. We are doing some food prep. And a lot of times when I do my smoothies, I go ahead and I just get these particular ingredients, which is aloe and cactus. And then I add like fruits and sometimes something special like turmeric or ginger. And then I blend them all together and then I pour the blends in ice trays. And then I store my cut fruits and my pre-blended smoothies and I put them in the freezer. So it makes it really easy for me whenever I just want to enjoy a smoothie on the daily to do it like that. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is this is tofu and you're going to want to lightly brown it on each side and then you're going to use some soy sauce on the top. Make sure it's firm because there's different types that are soft or medium. Mm -hmm. Then I want to make some bean soup on the side and there's another version of it called mung beans but you want to put a little bit of water in a pot and reduce the bean sprout. While you're browning your tofu, you're gonna take some green onions and prepare them on the side, cleanse them and remove the stems. Your second key ingredient slash seasoning is gonna be fresh garlic. So you're going to want to crush it and mince it. So, uh, that's a smash. And then also you don't have to, you have to use this part or you have this. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, yeah. Or you can do this way, but it's gonna be big fast. That you can smell things. But don't don't smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she says that you can remove most of the bean sprouts because we're gonna make a secondary dish for it and the soup itself doesn't require all that much bean sprouts. So go ahead and take some of it out and leave some of it in. So what's that mom, soy sauce, a little bit of water mm -hmm. with some Korean hot peppers mm -hmm. and then green onions. Green onions and garlic. Maybe. And garlic. Yeah. And then this way it looks more like it looks like paprika then it looks good mm -hmm. so that way you can just cover it up mm -hmm. so you want to cook that until most of the liquid reduces the soup. so then you take out most of the beans mm -hmm. and that's it and no then you just cook. add some water and to create the soup the color is good now you see mm -hmm. not plain but it's still flavored mm -hmm. This is done, and uh, this is another way to you can eat. But see, 
This is another way so you can cook and stick. Mm-hmm. Me, I cover that. Mm-hmm. Or oh, like I said, you don't even have to do that. You can just eat fried, but you make sure you put in another bit of salt. So go ahead and start mincing a little bit more garlic and preparing it to put into your soup base. So on all of the dishes, you can have two styles. One that's plain and then one that has a little bit more spices. So as you can see, we have the regular bean sprout soup up at the top and then with the bean sprouts we took out, we left some plain and then on the other we added our garlic, green onions, and Korean hot peppers. And then you can also see on the tofu we have the one that was sauteed in soy sauce versus the plain one that you can just dip in the soy sauce on the side. As I'm editing this video, I'm noticing that you guys can see like that island that I'm working on and of course my mosaic tile backsplash. And I want you guys to keep a lookout for my boho home makeover, which I'm still in the process of doing some things for, but I just wanted to add that little tidbit. Y'all look out for the boho home makeover reveal coming pretty soon. We're also making two soups. So the second soup is gonna be a turnip based fish soup. So slice your turnips and then boil them on the side separately. oil and then put it in then it doesn't popping mm. we'll try to take it out the more moisture out anyway so just like every other dish that we're doing we're doing two styles so this is called belt fish and you're going to want to salt it and put it in the refrigerator or even in the freezer this and this is going to be something that you just things. fry lightly in oil and eat with like rice and soup so for today, we're going to be using whiting in the turnip soup. So you just want to slice it into um, pieces and rinse them. And then you're going to add them to the turnip soup base. Mm -hmm. As you can see in most Korean food, it's always levels. Like you can always take the base and eat it plain and then you can build on that, add more and have a whole nother dish. So we always have a lot of food. Now it's time to add the fish into the radish soup base. So that's how much it, you know, I don't wanna be put over. When it's finished, then you add your Korean hot peppers, your garlic, and your green onions. Fish and a radish and soup. Ooh. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. You want to eat now? Yeah. You, you eat. Let's eat. Called Brand Smart, and now we're up in here sitting in the massage chairs. Because I needed a new blender, and now we're over here sitting in massage chairs. 